how to make baby twisty candles, recycling old candles and making something new with their wicks. I used a double boiler method with a long vase. It works great for making really long taper candles without using a ton of wax, and the vase on the right is just for cold water. I didn't like this ugly pink candle so I was going to use it for the wax. When getting into it I realized I could recycle the wick and turn it into something. But I was a bit too aggressive and broke the wick too. If you're careful you can get more of the wick or even use something with a short wick like this. I learned from another candle maker that you can dip your hot wax into cold water to double the dipping speed and you can see you should probably wipe it off with a paper towel or something so you don't get extra bubbles. Um, but while it is still hot you can shape the new candle in any shape that you want. I wanted mine to look like a vine growing around an invisible candle so I kept in mind that it had to be flat on the bottom and uh, messed with it until it kind of looked right. Then I dipped it in water to let it cool a bit, and voila, a baby twisty candle. After sequentially adding wax of several red, maroon, and purple crayons, I had a variety of different shades. The dark one on the right is basically straight crayon wax, and it burns just fine. The bigger baby twisty candles last about 35 minutes, and it's always a good idea to set it on something that won't burn, like aluminum foil, so your house doesn't burn down when enjoying them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something new today.